Now, once you finish the demo, what is the client thinking at this point? The client's thinking, what are my options? Okay, that's the client's mindset. In fact, let's do a, qu a quick review of where we've been so far. First, we did the research. That's right, you got a little magnifying glass. We did the research, we understand our customer. Then we went to the first meeting. There's the question mark, because we had a lot of, as asking a lot of questions to kind of what? Gain information on their situation and identify problems. The next step was the presentation. There's the screen, we did the presentation. The next step was the eyeball, we did the demo, so they can actually see what we have to offer. Now they're asking themselves, okay, so what are my options? Now you'll see the little graphic there is a tech, and I'll explain that in just a bit. But during the option phase, what you want to do is really begin to educate. Now I want to emphasize the word educate, not sell. Educate the customer on what their options are. Have you ever been in a situation where somebody's selling you? And they just keep telling you about everything that's going on, all the product, all their features, all their benefits, all the features, all the benefits, all the features, all the benefits. And in your mind you're saying, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. What are my options? I know I have a problem. I know you can solve them. What are my options? That's what the client's thinking at this point, if you've done everything right. So what are their options? So here's where you have to go into the instructor educational phase, right? You have to kind of say, okay, let me walk through some of your options that you have. And as you're walking through the options, one of the things I want you to highlight are the pros and cons of different options. Now be careful. Don't list out many options. I often recommend no more than three options. Mr. Customer, based on your problems and the situation you find yourself in and how we can help you, let me recommend three options or have you consider three options that we currently have. Now let me go through the first one. Now you go through the first one and you identify the pros and the cons, right? As you go through it, you hear, hear the pros, here are the cons. Here's why it's great for you. Here's what you're not getting with this package. Another option you might have is this right here. You can do this, this, and this, but again, if you don't buy this, you may not get this and you may need that, Mr. Customer. Or in this third option, which I highly recommend, there's no, nothing wrong with inserting your recommendation in there, which I highly recommend, it has this, 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 and this, and it doesn't have too much downside because I don't think you'll need some of these features. Get the idea? You'll have to structure it in a way that fits with your product or service. But again, make sure that the options are limited to three, very clear cut, and also clear cut on the pros and cons per option so the customer goes, I get it. Now, mentally what you're trying to do is steer them towards an option, especially the option you think they should buy based on what you've heard, based on what they've told you. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. So go ahead and do that. Now, there is an option they can take, which is no action. Now, I've had customers, you know, when I've talked to them, I've showed them the, done the presentation, I've gone through the demo, uh, basically showed them how I can help them, and then you'll get the, eh, I'll think about it. Well, not right now, maybe in six months. That's no action. Well, one of the options you can throw in, so you have three options, one, two, three, right? Then your fourth option, so to speak, is Mr. Customer, the fourth option you have is to do nothing. And Mr. Customer, if you do nothing, let me go ahead and identify what some of the downsides will be, what some of the long-term effects will be. So that's kind of the invisible fourth option. It's kind of basically telling them, if you don't take action, these things will happen. Now let me go ahead and explain the tech. Now many years ago I heard a story, it's not my story, but I want to share with you because it's a great story. It's a story about a man, he's sitting on his front porch whittling the stick, rocking back and forth in his rocking chair. Next to him is a big old nasty hound dog just making this sound, Boo, just doing that, right? Well a stranger approaches the house asking for a drink of water. Asks the old man, sir, would you mind if I get a drink of water? Old man says, absolutely. And he's noticed as he's talking to the old man, in the background he hears that dog laying next to the, the old man going, Boo. So the stranger asks, excuse me, sir, but what's wrong with your dog? And the old man looks at the stranger, looks at the, his dog and says, well, son, he's laying on attack. The stranger doesn't know what to say. The stranger said, well, let me ask you another question. Uh, if he's laying on attack, why doesn't he get up? The old man looks at the stranger, looks back at his dog, looks back at the stranger, says, son, you don't understand. See, the attack hurts the dog, but not enough to make him want to get up and do something about it. See, that's our customer. See, our customers are typically not happy with what they have. And much like the hound dog laying on the tag, going boo, that's our customer, basically complaining and whining about how their product is not working the way they expected it to work. But again, the tag hurts them enough, but not enough to make them get up and take action. 
Our job as salespeople and sharing our information is to create that sense of urgency, is to grow the tact. So they say, look, if you don't take any action, here's what's going to happen. And by showing them that invisible fourth option of not taking any action, what you're doing is trying to grow the tact, increase the sense of urgency, so they'll take action. So again, consider these options. You've got three options, pros and cons, three that you want to use, but then there's the invisible fourth option that if they don't want to take action, what you need to do is create a storyline, a narrative, so to speak, on what will happen if they don't take action. Now, you can do this in this way. Mr. Customer, let's again go with the pest control example. If you don't take action, let me tell you what may happen that we've seen in the past with other residents. What will happen is that your infestation will grow. Now, you won't notice it because it's all in the walls or behind the paneling, behind the wood, whatever it may be. Now, a year or two from now, much of that is going to be what? Torn up from the inside. But again, you're not going to see it. And let's say two years from now, you decide to sell the house. Well, you decide to sell the house, they're going to do an inspection. And if they find that, you're going to have massive repairs that basically pale in, compar pale in comparison to what this service costs. So by not taking action, Mr. Customer, down the road, this could be detrimental for you. Get the idea? Get the, you know, get the understanding there? It's, you can position it any way you want based on your product or service, but you get the idea. Are we trying to scare the customer? Maybe to a point. What we're really trying to do is make them aware that not taking action really is detrimental to their business. Okay, get the idea? So what I want you to do is, again, educate them on the pros and cons by offering them options. Doing that, list out the three options. The fourth invisible option is that they're not going to want to take any action, and you're going to have to address that one, especially if you get the I'll think about it response. But again, I want you to have a story, just like the hound dog story, just like the pest control story. Have a story about another customer that you've had that basically didn't take action and talk about what happened to them. Have this together as a story, the three options and the invisible option, and then the storyline in case a story, basically, if they don't take action, what may happen by not doing so. Get the idea? Put that together. Begin writing some of your notes and ideas down right now because this is going to become part of your closing sales pitch as we move into the next phase, which is called pricing.